I'm Scott Allen Miller, and this is my life living in Nicaragua. Today we're in Managua. I'm actually in Villa Fontana Sur, Via Fontana Sur, and this is the double tree right here. We're directly across. I'm actually, that's my room right there, and uh, we're going to be heading into this neighborhood. Oh, look at this cute puppy who wants to join us on the show. I have different dogs today. He is checking it out. He's just saying, hi, you're on the show today. He is adorable. That's a Rottweiler, and we are going to head this way, straight across. So going west from the double tree, we're going to explore Via Fontana Sur. We're going to get to that right after that bump. All right, we got a windy, gorgeous morning with bright sun where we are, but lots of storm clouds rolling in from the mountains off in that direction. This is the double tree again. I'm just going for a walk. There's the cutie. He's saying good morning to everybody. And we're heading west on this relatively unassuming little street that I've never been on. Ooh, that is, I believe, a uh, boutique hotel over there. Ah, people often ask me about condominiums and I had no idea that there was one here. This is the Acelia. a great location this would be for condos as you can see condo buildings here are basically never tall because there's one no need and two earthquakes so <laughs> not a popular way to go i have no idea what we're gonna find in this street it is so quiet out i feel a little bit weird recording With their gates open, we're gonna see a little bit. This is, without a doubt, super fancy neighborhood. <clears throat> So we're down here in Managua today. You can't really see, but there's like, what well, seems like condos back there. But I see, maybe this is part of the Azalea. Hard to say. So we, we came down to Managua last night for the 4515, 45, 45, uh, celebration of the revolution. And Wanted to bring the kids, because the kids love coming to Managua. So we said, you know, we can just bring you down, leave you in the hotel. You can just relax. We'll go do our stuff. And then tomorrow, today, we can go do fun stuff like shopping and interesting. Go to restaurants, just hang out in Managua and not have like work that needs to be done. And they're like, you know what? That does sound like a plan. So they got up early yesterday, early for them, and jumped in the car, came out to Managua. We went to dinner at Pani Ivino, which is, I'm gonna swing the camera. So we're in Via Fontana Sur here. If we go back down to the double tree and then go many blocks down into Managua proper in Los Robles, it's basically on the same road that we just turned off of. This is the Quinta Buena Vista. This is a crazy gorgeous neighborhood. It's both fancy and remote, but you're right in the city. So if you're here, you must feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Okay, this is a dental clinic. It must feel like you're so removed from the city and yet I can walk right to tons of restaurants and stuff. Like this is a nice, nice location.
This is a natural medicine center. And this is just a hill next to me. Like, there's a lot of like open wooden space, wooded space out here. It's one thing I really like about Managua. So green. They've managed to really keep it. Such a livable city. This is, really looks like a building lot that hasn't been purchased. There's a wall against the back. So there was probably something here in the past, long since gone. A little fence there with a sign, similar here. So that goes on somewhere in the back. So right now the kids are sleeping, my wife is sleeping. They like this idea of me going out, doing an hour or two of recording, and then coming back, waking them up, then recording again while they're, while they're getting ready to go. And then we can go somewhere fancy for breakfast. Because my kids love fancy eating in Managua. This suddenly gets so dark. Oh my gosh. Oh, the gate's opening. Okay, this is a hostel called Cuba Dance Garden. What? Um, I'd seen the name Cuba Dance Garden on the map. I had no idea that it was a hostel. What a cool looking place. I got a car that's going to come by, I think. Hold on, we're going to get a little bit higher view. Buenos dias. What a cool place. So by surprise, we got invited in to go tour this hostel and it was super cool. It was it was really neat, but it was unexpected. I was walking down the street and she just popped out. And so we're going to head in um, and actually show this place. But before I go in, I want to bring up a map to show you where we are so you know what's going on. You can figure out this because I didn't have a chance to show it before. Uh, so this is on a back street. It's like the second street in Via Fontana Sur. This is a tiny little community on the outskirts of Managua. It's not a big place, not a big town center or anything. We're going up the road that's right across the, fr from my hotel room, like that's the view of the, the driveway, the road from my hotel room. Like it's pretty, pretty funny, but it was such a gorgeous day and I just wanted to go out and walk and stumbling on this was so great. So this is uh, a little bit of what life could be like, a little bit more upscale, expensive community right within Managua. So, I mean, the ability to get into the heart of Managua in just minutes by car, of course, or taxi uh, is so great. This is a cool community. So let's, uh, let's continue with the tour and let's follow her in. And she's going to give us just a quick walk around. All right, we got invited in to come see. So you're a YouTuber in Leon. Hmm? Soy un YouTuber en León. Ah, ok. Este es un YouTuber en León. Oh, sí. Wow. Oh. Oh, you see. Ok, this is gorgeous. What a great location. So she just said this is new. That's why I had never heard of it. Because <laughs> how could this be secret? The dance school. Ah, ok. Wow. Uh huh. Got an outdoor barbecue. Asado's here. Oh, there's a pool. Wow. Me encanta. Es bonita. Tiene de de tapas, de restaurant. Ah, oh, sí. Restaurant con con comida cubana. Ah, okay. Ah. Hay de chon. Manicure. Oh, okay. Peluquería, masaje. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Entiendo. Oh, wow. Sí. Instagram y Facebook? Sí. Okay. All right, this is the bar here. Cute little steps. Yeah, I'm going to show this. This is like a nail and hair salon, massage. Lots of little cats running around. Yeah. Well. Huh? see. Oh, see. It's nice and cold in here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, la vista está increíble. The Cuban coffee. Ah, sí. Yes. Sí. <laughs> Gracias. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the views out here. Being able to see Lago Managua, which is uh, Solitlan, is unbelievable. We're at such a high vantage point that you can really see the lake. It is just unbelievable. Yes. This is one of the best views, and you can see the high rises downtown. This is really cool. I ended up staying for about an hour and a half. We talked a lot, talked about Nika Rumba, talked about my channel and talked about uh, their story coming from Cuba and running this uh, hostel here in Managua and uh, uh, just a really cool space and all the things that they're doing because they do a dance studio there and they have a bar and restaurant and the pool and they do day passes. So they have a lot of things in their full lot. They do um, weddings and, and baby showers and all kinds of different stuff. So I had a really cool time hanging out for a while and uh, we talked at length about the potential of coming back and stuff and of course we don't get paid there it always takes a bit of explanation right we're not here to make money on the channel obviously we'd love to find a good sponsor we'd love to when, when you guys help make the channel possible but we don't get paid by the businesses and stuff that we show and houses that we show it's just it would be a conflict of interest i think if we really want to show you nicaragua show you latin america and if we are if we're getting paid to do things then obviously we're kind of obligated to, to put a spin on stuff right and, and obviously we do put a positive spin on a lot of things on on most things right we're, we're trying to to give you a positive view for sure because i love it here but um we don't want to be in a position where it's like ah oh, here's a place that paid us to show something so so this is just us walking in with with no uh you saw the whole thing but 
we're going to come back. The plan is um, that they're going to uh, provide us some space so we can bring in the cameras and actually show the place and really give you guys an idea of the dancing that they do and the food that they do and show the bar and, and, and some time there and, and bring the family. So uh, the plan is, they're you know, they're going to put us up for the night and, and feed us, but we're not going to get paid to do anything, but we're going to go do an entire episode on the hostel and show this little bit of uh, Cuban cultural experience. And I think this is a p place that has a popularity with Nicaraguans and not with... Um, not with foreigners, typically tourists that are coming because it's a Cuban themed place. It's a hundred percent Cuban staff doing Cuban food, doing Cuban dance. And for Nicaraguans, that's like super cool. It's like a chance to go experience Cuba. But for tourists who are in Nicaragua, normally you want to experience Nicaragua. If you want to experience Cuba, you could find that in your home country just as easily, right? You can go to, you know, any number of places like Miami in the United States or different communities in, in Canada, for example, and find Cuban restaurants, Cuban dancing, whatever. The same kind of thing as this. So this really targets a Nicaraguan audience, obviously, who doesn't often don't have a chance to go to Cuba. The flights are expensive, and and uh, but it is easy from a visa perspective, but it is expensive for people to go. So for a lot of people, coming and staying in a hostel and, and seeing the kind of a Cuban cultural experience is a, is a neat thing. But this is also a very affordable and nice way to stay in Managua. I got to see it. It looked really nice, uh, and I'm looking forward to, to bringing the family back and, and really getting to, to show it to you guys. I think it'll be cool. So we did spend a bit of time talking just about what we do, what they do and everything and it was really cool so we'll let you get back to uh to the walking tour all right that was awesome we got a quick tour there and was not expecting that i'd seen them on the map and was wondering what this was but you know there's always things on the map that you have no idea what they <laughs> get the dog <clears throat> there's always things on the map that you have no idea what they are. You have no idea what to expect. And I'm like, I don't know what this is. And uh, that was not at all what I was expecting. A gorgeous hostel. So the main road is just right over there. You can see the trees. So we have not gone far at all from the main road. Now we're headed down. All right, this looks like probably a beautiful house. 1993, not that old. I love the green walls. This is a lot of downhill. I'm gonna regret this when I have to hoof it back uphill to get back. So that is a gated street. I don't know what that's the back of. That might be those condominiums. It's hard to say. Everything back here is very interesting. That's some very modern living up there. Is that a road or is this a driveway? I feel like this is actually a road. So my map says that that's a dead end. I don't think we want to go up there. In theory, this is not a dead end, but we will see. This is certainly not a main road. We've got a place for sale down here. Oh, this goes down precipitously. It's a beautiful place. Okay, this road goes way down. I really wish there was a way to show the altitude changes as I walk because the video really makes it seem like everything is flatter than it actually is. Okay, we're not going to continue down there. That is clearly gated off. That is the Centro Ignaciano Pedro Arupe. So we've kind of exhausted where we can go with this. So this house that's for sale here on the right is basically the last available house on a very quiet little street. 
That is quite interesting. I don't know how much you can see of that from here. I don't know if this road goes anywhere. Nope, nope, it just goes up to their gate. That place is huge. It's a pretty cool place. I have to keep stopping my filming because I have to <laughs> answer messages on my phone. I actually stopped at the Cuban hotel for about an hour, maybe a little bit more. So my filming schedule of the day is just a little bit disrupted. And I don't know where this vehicle came from. Someone's actually coming past me and there's someone hiking up the hill. There's a little bit of life here, but not a lot. I was not able to go nearly as far as I was hoping today. This particular direction. Now this, the gate is open, but I don't think I can really go down there. It looks like it's blocked right there. It feels like a pri I don't want to go into private places if I can help it. That's actually really tough. Oh, I didn't notice. This is for sale too. But no information for sale, figure it out. <laughs> All right. So there's good signs leading you to the Cuba Dance Garden, but it's on a street that feels private. Because look at the street. That used to have gates, and it definitely has all the security. So that makes it feel like maybe you're not supposed to be there other than the sign. And there used to be an archway. They need to put the archway back. That'd be really cool. Okay. Well, so this was informative in a lot of ways. I'm going to walk back the way we came, but you can get different views of this little bit of Via Fontana, sir. So if you're looking at a map, it seems that very commonly you see the K-pop Cultural Center, K-pop Cafe, or whatever. And as far as I can tell, that actually was the Cuba Dance Garden Hostel before they bought it. I'm going to do my best to figure that out for sure. But that seems to be... What happened there? This is the most amazing tree. So it turns out to be their tree. So that's very funny that I had mentioned the tree. So we're gonna see where the road goes to the left, but I think it's just a gate. Yes. So that's the other side of the road coming around from the other side. So yes, the K-pop cafe that's prominently displayed on Google does not exist anymore. So that's, that's important to know if you're looking for that. That was an interesting place that I wanted to take my kids. I'm like, well, I think my kids will like that. Be something different. Well, I ended up finding it and it was way better than expected, but it was not at all what was expected. Nicaragua, it's not what you expected. This is such a nice neighborhood though. And those views of the lake, my gosh, who would have guessed? I mean, we're very high. So you'd kind of guess, but that was extreme. That was quite a discovery. So we're invited back to come back and film. And uh, we're going to explore that at some future time. We're invited back with the family. We're gonna come and they're gonna show off Cuban food and show off their dancing. They have professional dancing there. Plus they have like nail salon and hair salon and that kind of stuff. But a number of things to, to put on the show and we don't often do like hotel tours. I think that will be really cool uh, and, and show some hanging out there. So we'll, uh, we'll give that a try. I don't know when we'll be able to do that, but they have my contact now. 
Oh, I didn't see these beautiful flowers the other direction. It's very nice. This is that dental clinic. It is kind of nice walking this the other direction. It really does look completely different. Of course, the sun is completely different now, too, because it's been a while. Their coffee was amazing. That was such good coffee. I have not had Cuban coffee in a really long time. This is such a quiet day. So it's Saturday morning that I'm recording this and we are out. It's the day after the revolution parties. So a lot of people are just taking it easy this morning, doing some recovery. The one thing I don't like is there's a lot of walls. You're very closed in on the street. See the little things that hold the trash there? That's so that dogs don't rip them open. I'm gonna move over, walk in the shade a little bit. Look at all this moss. This really is just a fantastic neighborhood. I am down in the trees a little bit. I can't see if the clouds have come in. It looked like a storm coming, but it's a little bit hard to tell because to the south of Managua, there's kind of a, a permanent storm going on. Okay, we are getting a breeze now, so. You can probably hear it a little bit. These are those condominiums. And that's the double tree we see just beyond it. So I'm already back to the double tree. I was definitely nowhere near as long of a walk as I'd hoped to do, but that road ended up being a dead end. I kind of kind of screwed up on my mapping there. This is where Google Maps really doesn't work very well, that they show all these connecting roads. And when you get down there, they're actually showing driveways and often they're blocked off driveways. Not that it matters. I'm not gonna go up someone's driveway to get between buildings, but they'll show gated, blocked driveways as roads. And it's just like, yeah, just drive through here, walk through here. And you think, well, I'm on foot. It's like, oh, there's our Rottweiler. He's so cute. One of these. He doesn't even bark. He knows who we are. And uh, so it shows all these places you can go, but you can't. You can't actually go there. It's, uh, it's not a great situation the way that they have it on, on Google Maps. It's just so unreliable. I'm going to walk over here. And uh, no, those clouds are still there. And it's coming this way a little bit. You can... I don't know how well you can see it on the wide angle lens, but dark, dark clouds over the south side of the city. So we're back at the double tree. And uh, from this location, I don't have a lot of places I can walk to easily. So that's, that's a little bit of a problem. But it's such a great location overall. You know what? It's been a little while. Well, we never we never get to cover this last little bit. My camera always dies. Today we got plenty of battery, so we're good. We're able to show walking into the double tree. And you can see the Colegio Central America across there. And the ad for Stravaganza Chair Center. Now you know it's a slow day because the little pulperia is closed. And here we are coming into the double tree. Well, at least we got up and did a walk 
and we made an amazing discovery and we are ready for a future episode that's going to be fantastic. This one, I apologize. A little bit on the boring side. It's going to happen from time to time. I can't make everyone a banger, guys. We, uh, we did some exploration. We found a really cool street. It just wasn't very long. And uh, we found a really cool hostel. But we're going to come back and really show it and explore the whole thing and bring good cameras and uh, check out the food and everything. Because they do Cuban food and Cuban dance. And uh, it's going to be cool. So I'm, I'm very excited. I think that worked out really well that uh, it was a making new friends kind of day. There is the Casino Kingdom. And here we are at the Doubletree. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up for there. I'm going to go grab my family. We are going to head to the Barrio Cafe, do some delicious breakfast, do our shopping for the day. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And as always, like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see all of you tomorrow. And... And there's going to be videos at the end of this end of the, this video, like on the screen. Like you'll see them. Just just look. They're probably there. Well, okay, they're probably not. Find some other YouTube videos from this screen and click on them, and it'll help support the show.